OK, we're all set to take a measurement now. I've uh, launched Buzzo Sonic, but before you do that, make sure that you have the microphone plugged in to the USB port. So here's a microphone, make sure it's plugged into a USB port. And very important, also, make sure that you have the HASP key. This little blue key here should also be plugged into the side. That unlocks Buzzo Sonic. So we plug in the microphone, plug in the HASP key before launching Buzzo Sonic. Now when the microphone's plugged in, you see here there's a button that should be down and lit. It should be green. So that needs to be turned on. So when Buzzo Sonic opens, it fills the window and it's all set to go. So all we need to do now is put in the sample. So just like before, we put the sample on the supports. Place the microphone next to but not touching the sample. And all we need to do now, using the small impulse tool, just like before, we hit the sample on one end. And it's as simple as that. So we've got this, that's, let's see what we get now. If you go and zoom in on the We see a value of 12.81. Incidentally, the, the upper graph is the spectrum. So here's the spectrum. The lower graph is the waveform. And this is the table of results. So now let's see if we get the same thing when we tap the sample in the center. We should do, of course. There we go, we get exactly the same result. Try it now with the screwdriver. And once again, we get the same result, but this time the waveform was over 100%. So it is best in this case to use the small impulse tool. Like so. Now we can open up the modules. There's an elastic constants module. At the top here, I'll zoom in. If you see the modules there, we're going to open the elastic constants module. At the top there. Now in this window, I've already filled in the appropriate values for length, width and height. As you can see, we end up with a Young's modulus of 3.9 gigapascals or 568 KSI.